Hello and welcome to part 3 on how to make a PVC pipe violin. First thing I'm going to do is show you how to put the end pin in. Take your marker, put a little mark right in the center. Take a 5 16 inch drill bit and drill a hole right in the center. Right on the mark. Right about there. Once you have that drilled, it's time to put the end pin in. Just take the end pin, stick it in, get my rubber mount and just pound the end pin right in. Just like that. Next thing I'm going to do is install the chin rest. I install it with screws. I just put a mark here, mark about right here, and another mark right here. Take your drill and drill your holes for your screws. It's a little bit slippery. And there's your holes for the screws. Take your screws and put them in this way. Just get them started with your hand. And screw them in with the screwdriver. You want to tighten it so it just peeks out of the hole like that. You can see it there. And do the same with this one. Take your chin rest, take these holes and stick it down on here like this. Once it's in place, you can start tightening the screws. It's very tricky to get it started. And after you tighten the screws, you should have a nice strong chin rest. Now the next step is to start installing the tuning pegs. So I take my marker and I put a mark right about here. And then I come down here. Oops, I moved that. Put a mark right about here. And I come down here. Put a mark right about here. And then I come down to here and put a mark right about here. Want your marks to be evenly spaced and right in line with this cut, right where it opens up. And once again, I take my 5 16 inch drill bit and carefully drill the holes. I'm going to take my drill, stick it right on the mark without slipping, and go in as straight as I can. And once you have that drilled, come up to this one and just continue drilling the hole. Once you have your holes drilled, then it's time to start putting the tuning pegs in. And remember that they alternate back and forth. This one goes this way, that one goes this way, this one goes this way, and that one goes that way. Unfortunately, I still don't have the proper tool on hand to do this with. So I'm going to have to carefully use the drill to do this. So now I'm going to put this first tuning peg in. And it's a little bit tight. And you see it can't go all the way across. So i got to make this hole right here a little bit wider. So I just take my drill and I wiggle it in the hole just a little bit. Just go around and around and around. And now I'll stick the tuning peg in and it goes all the way across. Just like that. And then do the same thing for this next one. Clean the burrs out a little bit and just stick the tuning peg in. Hopefully it goes all the way across, which it doesn't. So I'm going to have to do that again. Now it should go all the way in. You want it to be snug. And you just go bang, bang until all the tuning pegs are all in place. And now that the tuning pegs are in place, it's time to make the tailpiece and the bridge. Now I'm going to put the finishing touches on the tailpiece by grinding this smooth to get rid of all the sharp edges so they don't cut the strings. Once that part's done, now I need to mark the places where I'm going to put the holes. I need to put two holes back here. Now I need to mark the holes for where I'm going to put the strings. I just line it up with the, the, the fingerboard. And I put a mark right here. Mark right here. Right here. And right here. That one didn't come on very well. And there's where the strings are going to go. And then I just take a small drill bit and I drill these top holes first. Then I take a slightly larger drill bit and drill these bottom two holes. Once you have your holes drilled, then you need to smooth them out with a file so they don't cut the string. Once you have the tailpiece complete, then it's time to make the bridge. Then I quickly take my coping saw, I take it apart, and I slide the blade into the hole. And I just take it and I cut right across like this. Right over to the next hole. Just like that. And then I come down a little bit more and I throw two more holes in it, one here and one over here. And then I take my coping saw and I cut into this hole. 
And then I come over to this hole and do the same thing. Just like that. And then I have to clean it up a little bit with the file. And now it's time to start putting the strings on it. For the strings, I just use some monofilament fishing line. First thing I do is take some 50 pound fishing line and make a loop on the end of the tailpiece so I can connect it to the end pin. I just tuck the fishing line through the two holes like this, pull it through, and then I just tie a figure eight on the end of this so it doesn't come undone. And then pull the tailpiece through and hook it onto the end pin like this. I'm going to use 50 pound fishing line for the G string that goes on this side. I just tie it onto the tailpiece with some half hitches and then I run it up here to the tuning pegs and I just stick it in the tuning peg. Since this is fishing line, you want to wrap it around the tuning peg a few more times than usual because it's very slippery. There is one very critical thing that I forgot, the, no the notches in the nut. So we're going to make those right now. Marker, put a mark right about here, and a mark right about here, and a mark right about here, and a mark right about here. Right, now that I got the notches in the nut, I'll put the string up here now, and it won't go anywhere. Now let's see if I did my work right. I'm gonna tighten the string up a little bit more. And I'm gonna take my bridge and hopefully this goes down far enough. Let's see if it works. It's gonna fall over. And now I'm gonna have to put the rest of the strings on there and tension them. Just follow the same procedure that I just did with this string. And now it's time to bring the strings up to tension and hope that this fingerboard comes down to the right level. Unfortunately, the fingerboard didn't go down as far as I'd like it to, so we're going to have to bend this a little bit. And that means loosening up all the strings and tuning pegs and heating this up down here and bending it. Now with the strings properly tensioned, the fingerboard is at the right height. And I also want to remind you that my background is in electricity. Music is just something fun that I do on the side. So let's see how it sounds. Got a nice plasticky sound, but it sounds pretty good. So now let's see how it sounds. Insert the piezoelectric disc right into the bridge. Put the piezoelectric disc, hook the battery to it. Let's see what it sounds like. Pretty loud. In the caption for each video will be a description of all the parts that you need for this and the tools. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and happy building musical instruments. As soon as I have a trumpet design figured out and built, I'll make a video on how to do that too.